Okay, we can go and get head started with uh, UC Santa Barbara head coach Joe Pasternak, and we'll have student athletes following. Coach, if you have some opening comments, we'll go ahead after that. Yeah, I mean, it was a heck of a basketball game. Um, credit to Long Beach State. They hit a, a great big-time shot at the buzzer, and um, kudos to them moving on uh, for tomorrow night. Coach, obviously, uh, Amadou was 10 points under his average. And uh, um, was there anything they were doing in particular that took him out of his game? Yeah, you know, they did a great job of pressing us. Um, and when you're breaking a press, you don't really can't call plays for the player. It's uh, you're at the mercy of the the press break. And um, I thought we drove, and we got 18 assists tonight to 10 turnovers. I thought Miles Norris really played outstanding. Um, Ajari Sanai, six assists to two turnovers. And um, it was kind of just the flow of the game. And uh, they trapped him every time he got the ball. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, uh, it wasn't his night, as last night was his night. Um, obviously, you shot the ball much better in the first half than the, the second. Was fatigue a little bit of an issue? Uh, I think so. You know, playing guys 37 minutes, you know, it's it's tough at the end of the game. And I thought it affected our defense, especially in the second half. Uh, we got driven. And, um, you know, I, I think uh, it finally caught up to us. Um, obviously, uh, um, Slater, player of the year in the conference, and uh, it looked like you know he was hurting you on the drive. And did you kind of feel like maybe if Josh had been able to play tonight, that um, you know it might have been able to take a little steam out of his sails? Yeah, I mean, obviously, when you have the most athletic player in the league um, not out there, it puts the minutes, pounds the minutes on the other guys. And uh, Josh, our best defensive player, he guards, he would have guarded him. Um, but that's not why we lost the game. You know, um, the game could have gone either way. We lost the rebounding war. We're 14-2 and two when we re, uh, win the rebounding war, 35-32. to 32, They won it. Um, and I thought uh, defensively our legs were not there for the second half, the end. Um, but look, that's the way it works. Um, can't control injuries. and. Um, and our guys did the best they could through, you know, I, I told them after the game, you know, this year uh, they've, if they could learn anything is that light, that basketball, a, a uh, sports are like life. Everything isn't smooth sailing. You're going to have adversity. And what I'm most proud of is, is, you know, we were like one in four in conference. Everybody counted us out. And then we won nine of our last 11 games. And we had COVID, we missed, lost five games, uh, couldn't play five games because of COVID. Uh, Ajari Sani out for three or four weeks with an ankle injury, Calvin out three or four weeks with an ankle injury, a bunch of guys out uh, in the San Diego game with COVID and then, but our guys just hung in and they kept grinding and grinding and persevering and then went on that run in February and we just got better and better and better. And, you know, I think the game could have obviously gone either way today. And then we had another setback last night with Josh. Um, and you can't control that. And I thought our guys played their hearts out. Any questions for student athletes? Yeah, um, actually for both you guys. Um, obviously you guys, you know, caught fire uh, this, in the last month of the season. Coming into this game, and I know Long Beach has won a lot of close games uh, with heroics. But, do you kind of feel confident, even though maybe you were a little tired in the second half? Um, coming in the second half, we were definitely confident. We had a, a five-point lead coming in. And yeah, they won a close, close, lot of close games, but we won a lot of close games too. And um, we just let it slip at the end. And that was my fault. Should never lost that game. We'll learn from it. Yeah, you know, I'm always confident in my team getting the win. Um, just came down to winning the last war, really. Just executing, they executed the last play, 
hit the last shot, but I'm always confident in my guys and my team in winning the game. And Jordan, do you kind of feel like, uh, you know, their press maybe took a little out of you guys? Uh, maybe, uh, you know, especially because you guys shot only one for eight from three in the second half. Was, mm -hmm. was their press having maybe a little bit of effect, do you think, on you guys a little bit? Uh, we just didn't execute the way we were supposed to. We were taught the correct way to beat that press, and we just didn't do it towards the end. And, um, you know, I mean, they're a great team. They got a great press, but that's something we should have beat, but we didn't. I don't know, Coach, is there a um, – I know there's secondary tournaments. Are you guys at all interested in playing in a – in a postseason tournament like the CIT? You know, Mark, um, our focus was to get to the NCAA tournament. That's what our program's about, and that's the standard here. And I haven't thought about anything else. Have any uh, last questions? For both you guys, um, uh, plans for next year. I mean, Miles, you graduated. Um, I mean, you, with COVID, you could come back. I mean, in Ajari, you're, you're a junior. So, I mean, what about the prospects for next year? So, well. Question for both you guys. Um, we'll worry about that later on. Um, yeah. We we both graduate, get our degree, option to come back. That's something we can do, but we're not worried about that right now. Okay. How about you, Miles? Same. Yeah, same. Same, both. All right. All right. We appreciate everyone's time. Thank you.